Ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Welcome to today's webinar, exploring Abu Dhabi's free zones and the third edition of the very exciting Inside Abu Dhabi event series. My name is Samir Al Jabri, Head of Locations and Government Resources at Abu Dhabi Film Commission. And it's my pleasure to be the moderator for this webinar. Today's webinar is expected to last for an hour with a Q&A session at the end. This, this is a recorded webinar, and unless you are speaking, please make sure your microphone is turned off. I would also like to ask the audience to please write your questions in the chat room, and I will address them to the speakers after their presentations. Some background about Abu Dhabi Investment Office. We are the government entity responsible for attracting and facilitating investments in the Emirates of Abu Dhabi. Our objective is to enable opportunities for innovative investors and businesses of all sizes. And we do this through a number of programs, including financial and non-financial incentives, tailored services and infrastructure partnerships. Today, you will find out more about the business opportunities within the free zones and why Abu Dhabi should be your next destination. Abu Dhabi is a regional hub for phonetic and actic and advanced manufacturing. We have a competitive and a thriving ecosystem that promises to expand your business locally, regionally, and globally. We will hear much more about this today from our respective speakers. And without further ado, to start our session for today, please join me in welcoming His Excellency, Dr. Tariq bin Hindi, the Director General of Abu Dhabi Investment Office, to give the welcoming speech. Your Excellency. Thank you, uh, Samir. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Good afternoon to everyone. Again, this is a, uh, another webinar in a series of webinars that's looking at Abu Dhabi and titled Inside Abu Dhabi, where we are looking at showcasing everything that Abu Dhabi has to offer across sectors, across industries, and also in general in terms of the overall business environment and, and the operating model that we have in Abu Dhabi. I would like to say thank you to all of my uh, fellow panelists and my guests that are speaking today. You have the... Um, cream of the crop as it relates to the people driving all the activity in the free zones in Abu Dhabi and how it is that they're looking at not just resting on their laurels, but expanding, pushing the boundaries and really growing to deliver on the aspirations that our leadership has in Abu Dhabi. So in this webinar today, we're looking at the free zones in Abu Dhabi. And I always like to start my uh, presentations um, if, if we can, if, if we can look at this to say to look at what it is that our founding father, His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, may he rest in peace, uh, always highlighted the need for us to keep pace with the growth of the modern world, to constantly push ourselves to strive to do better. And in the almost 50 years since the founding of this nation, we have created an incredible hard infrastructure and delivered on those aspirations to keep pace not just with the growth of the modern world, but to surpass it, to look at how it is that we could position ourselves on a global level. And with that in mind, and with that as the foundation of what it is that drives us forward, Abu Dhabi has created a very enabling business environment from a strong and stable economy with an established infrastructure that's business friendly and where residents from around the world, and there are over 200 nationalities, love to call this place home. If you look at what it is that we've established in terms of our economy, it's one of the top 30 economies in the world. Abu Dhabi contributes 60% of the UAE's GDP. Again, you capture 80% of the world's population within an eight hour flight from Abu Dhabi and the, the terrific infrastructure that we have established in terms of our airline and our airports. We are number one in the world in terms of 100% fiber to the home connection. From a business friendly uh, environment, we are 12th globally for ease of doing business, and this is not good enough for us. We want to become in the top 10 and we want to maintain our position as number one. We have very favorable business um, uh, rules and policies in place in terms of taxation, in terms of ownership, and this is only expanding and getting stronger. And of course, 
as it relates to what it is that's really, really important, that's the safety, security, and happiness of the residents that love to call Abu Dhabi home. We are the safest city in the region. We are the number one happiest city in the uh, Arab region as well. And this is something we take a lot of pride on, especially that this is a, a ranking that we have maintained for some years now. So we try and we are accomplishing this in terms of creating Abu Dhabi as a very strong place to do business and for people to live comfortably and safely. Now, what is driving our innovation ecosystem? It's, it's, a, it's a number of things that's driving the innovation ecosystem, and that's from the entrepreneurial mindset that we have. It's the enabling environment. It's multiple funding sources, an integrated infrastructure, research universities, and a very diverse talent pool. And these components are very important. They are critical to making sure that the ecosystem thrives. And the reason why we're focused on innovation and on technology is because everything is changing, but we have to maintain a very sustainable, resilient business model. And these components are helping drive that um, uh, mission and motion forward. Now, as it relates to Abu Dhabi's free zones, there are five free zones in Abu Dhabi. You have ADGM, you have 2454, Kizad, the Abu Dhabi airport free zone, and Mustar City. I will not uh, dive into the details of each one of these because my distinguished panelists here will be explaining each one of these free zones, but each caters to a particular need and each has very grand ambitions and strategies for how it is that they're going to drive the aspiration of Abu Dhabi forward. As it relates to Adio, Adio was established in early 2019 by the government of Abu Dhabi to make sure that we drive FDI into Abu Dhabi that's focused around innovation, technology, knowledge transfer, and the upskilling of the workforce. We do this through many different things, but the core fundamental of what it is that drives us is how we promote Abu Dhabi, how we attract people to Abu Dhabi, and how it is that we facilitate that entire experience in Abu Dhabi. We also focus on public-private partnerships and musataha agreements and work across the Abu Dhabi ecosystem to make sure that we make the right connections to the right people and help drive growth and prosperity. Now, we do this private sector investment through two different means. It's our investor care services, as well as the incentive instruments that we use. And I will go through those uh, now. As it relates to the investor care services, we cover the full gamut A to Z, end to end, in terms of helping companies set up and find out information, everything from data to networks, the licensing and permits, banking and finance, talent and visas, real estate. And this is not an exhaustive list. We are very happy to receive comments, the feedback, uh, concerns, considerations, questions. It's been very interesting for us from an investor care perspective to find out what it is that the private sector is looking for and how we can help drive that growth and the prosperity of the private sector here. Importantly, and this is a, a key differentiator for us, is that we have various incentives. They're both financial and non-financial. Financial incentives are designed around rebates and grants, and also our ability to connect the private sector with the ecosystem partners from ADQ, Mubadala, and other institutions, as well as the private sector investment base that's always looking at growing and solidifying their positions in Abu Dhabi. And then on a non-financial incentive basis, this is again how it is that we assist, how it is that we use our investor care um, structure to be able to help drive change, how it is that we can source exemptions, and, and other things. And these are very important components of how it is that we're helping to drive private sector growth and prosperity in Abu Dhabi, particularly around innovative companies from around the world looking to rebase or grow in Abu Dhabi. Now, finally, I'd like to end this by saying that whilst our incentives are there to help drive um, companies to be based in Abu Dhabi. The way that we approach this is always on a long-term basis. We want to establish long-term relationships. We want these to be resilient. We want them to be sustainable. But importantly, we want to deliver on our aspirations and we want to help the private sector deliver on their aspirations. And we believe that this relationship is very important to make sure that we are effective, that both parties benefit, and that we are continuing to build on those components to drive this innovative ecosystem that we have in place and that we're continuing to expand on. With that in mind, 
Here's how it is that you can get in touch with us. Again, we're available on all social media channels. You can call us, email us, come visit us uh, eventually when uh, the right protocols are in place for everyone to come visit. But again, there are no silly questions. There are no silly comments. We want all of the feedback. We want to know how it is that we can make the system better. And we also want to know how it is that we can help you grow in Abu Dhabi. And with that in mind, I'll end my presentation. And uh, thank you very much. And I hope that uh, we can all get started together and that you find out the information that you want to find out shortly about all of our free zones. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency, for um, all the insightful information about Adio. Let us now start with our first part of the webinar, where we will be hearing from five free zones in Abu Dhabi. Please join me in welcoming our first speaker for today, Vahar bin Vahar, CEO of the Registration Authority, Abu Dhabi Global Market, who will be talking to us about the award-winning environment for sustainable business growth. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, I would like to talk about Abu Dhabi Global Market. Is Abu Dhabi Global Market is the international financial center of Abu Dhabi. It's a, it's a federal financial free zone, which is established through Abu Dhabi uh, law number four. Um, and what we we are actually, we consist of three uh, authorities. One is the registration authority, which I had, the financial uh, services authority and ADGM courts. Uh, we are an English common law jurisdiction. So we apply the English common law as is. We actually focused on creating uh, and partnering also with, with Abu Dhabi Inc. in supporting businesses. Uh, as an example, we focus on the tech ecosystem and we're in partnership with Hub71, Adio, uh, and uh, universities too, such as the uh, Emirates University, and looking at how can we support this ecosystem. Of course, uh, we started our journey with the uh, fintech since we are building a financial uh, sector in Abu Dhabi. Uh, and we look at growing these uh, sectors with, with our partners. Of course, our, we, we apply, as I said, we apply the English common law. So that gives the businesses the flexibility of structuring and using different types of uh, legal entities such as uh, special purpose vehicles, uh, foundations, trust, and even limited partnership. And we support as the registration authority businesses, not just to, to come and establish, but to enable to enter into the market, into the, the region by a whole, as a whole. Um, and this is basically a, a nutshell in about ADGM. Of course, we've been established uh, since 2013. We went live uh, 2015. Um, and during this short period, we have more than 3,200 companies uh, registered and licensed by the ADGM. Um, of course, in this five years uh, period, we were able to build an extensive network where we have 20 odd uh, MOUs and, agree and bilateral agreements signed with many uh, other jurisdictions across the globe, uh, in addition uh, within the region uh, by itself. And this is mainly to, to support businesses grow and tap in the market We're from Abu Dhabi to the world. And I would, on this, I would like to thank everyone and a member of our uh, a member of my colleagues will be actually on the panel who will be able to answer any queries or questions about ADGM and how can ADGM support and thank you thank you Vahar, and we look forward to hear more uh, about ADGM later on today and for our next speaker for today please join me in welcoming Samir Chaturvedi, CEO of KZAD, to tell us more about the developing an efficient and progressive ecosystem for industries.
Thank you, Samir. Good afternoon, everyone. And um, thanks, Dr. Tariq, for putting this interesting webinar together, uh, bringing all the free zones uh, and my colleagues on the same platform. It's a pleasure and an honor to be with all of you today. Today, I will introduce Kizad and share with you uh, our plans and vision of how we are creating a dynamic and progressive ecosystem for the industry. Next. Now spread around 410 square kilometer, Kezad is one of the largest maritime and uh, industrial development in the world with almost uh, 100 square kilometer of area dedicated to free zones. A customer focused sustainable development with multimodal connectivity through all modes to global markets. Uh, we are next to Khalifa port, the fastest growing port in the world. Uh, we are developing an industrial community in Kezad uh, that can contribute to Abu Dhabi's diversification plan, but also create a mega base for new industry, new companies, startups, and mega organizations to grow. Next. When an industry or a customer uh, gets to a new place, there are multiple entities they have to deal with. There are multiple organizations they're working with. Uh, what Kizad is trying to work out is create a platform on which uh, organizations like you can actually deal with all government agencies, ports, airports, logistics entities, and every other business that you require to deal with on trade with a single login on the same platform. You may need your licenses, visas, permits, approvals, even transactions through ports, airports, municipality, or customs, all can be managed through one single source and one single platform. This is a collaborative platform developed with all government entities of Abu Dhabi and making sure that we can streamline delivery and support for efficient business. Next, please. Looking at businesses and constantly engaging and understanding, uh, meeting with the customer, understanding and anticipating their demand, we have realized that the basic customer needs and our commitment to make your businesses grow revolves around five fundamental areas. In today's business, uh, cost competitiveness across markets in every activity, every function, your production, setting up, building, construction, and reach to the market is very, very important. We have created all the infrastructure and processes to make sure that your businesses can stay cost competitive in the current world. Speed is another element where we believe we can actually help our customers' uh, operations more efficient. Uh, may it be starting a company, developing or building your industry, reaching your markets, getting your raw material, we provide you all the connectivity, infrastructure, and services to make sure that you can achieve the best speed in the industry to serve your respective customers. Most of our customers start small. Some are uh, big companies. Uh, and what we provide them is to come operate with us, test the market, and we can help you scale your business to whatever levels you can optimally reach. We provide you infrastructure and services to make sure that you can go to the heights in your business. A vibrant community is another area where we are trying to work out both on the industrial side and uh, together working with Abu Dhabi, as uh, Dr. Tariq said some time back, we are one of the most uh, happy community in the area to bring up your families, to live and operate, 
But together with that, we are also working on creating a large industrial ecosystem and community where you can interdepend on each other, collaborate to make sure that your business gains the max. And above all, what we commit as Abu Dhabi and Kezad is predictability for your businesses. Your raw material requirements, your utility requirements, your land costs, you can have a much longer visibility on your cash flows working with us. And this commitment continues for everyone who is operating on our ecosystem. Next, please. I won't go into detail of each and every item, but the key focus areas uh, for us are food, polymers, metals, automotive, and logistics. We are creating very customized sector-specific value propositions for our customers. We are offering all the benefits that you require to get these industries successful in this market. But above all, we are also willing to work with you to understand your specific needs in a lot more detail and see how we can support you in growth. Next. A proof of our success comes out in our customers and our collaborations. Uh, recently, around two years back, Jiangsu province of China decided to collaborate with us in creating a demonstration zone on 2.2 million square meter of land, uh, hosting Chinese industrial companies in Abu Dhabi. We already have over 20 Chinese companies who have called our zone their home and invested over a billion dirhams. We also have created collaborations with ICBC Bank to provide funding and financial services to these organizations. Next. Every free zone offers some benefits. Interestingly, uh, in Kizad, we have all the benefits that a normal free zone would offer, 100% foreign ownership, no taxes, custom duties, and um, similar charges uh, that all most free zones provide, no restrictions on profit and capital repatriation, no foreign exchange controls. But over and above this, even being in the free zone, we allow you a dual licensing process under which you can operate within free zone, getting all the benefits of the free zone environment, but you can also compete in the local markets and get involved with the local businesses. This benefit allows you to operate in both markets with absolute freedom without needing to have a separate office or establishment in the other zone. And just adding one more point to my colleague uh, Daher uh, and, and other things, what we are also trying to work out now to provide uh, access to the customers of free zone to work in any of the free zones and use the fundamental uh, facilities and infrastructure that we have created across the area. Next. That was the short presentation, and I hope I've kept my time limitation of five minutes. Uh, these are our contact details. Uh, we are willing to work with you. We are eager to meet with you. Please contact us. Please connect with us. You can reach me directly uh, through uh, our teams or through these emails, and we will make sure that we can provide you solutions that make your businesses move forward. Thank you. Over to you, Samir. Thank you very much, Samir, for such an insightful presentation about the offerings of Kizad. Um, please join me in welcoming our next speaker, Khalil Lamarbet, SVP Aviation Development. And this is a look into Abu Dhabi Airport's free zone. Thank you very much, Samir. Good afternoon, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my pleasure to be part of this webinar session today for Abu Dhabi um, Airport Free Zone, otherwise known as ADAPS. The past six months have taught us the importance of logistics. Never before have we seen humanity require faster and stronger logistical connections than what we are currently witnessing during COVID-19. Thankfully, we are finally beginning to emerge from this crisis period. Now, as we all adjust to this new post-COVID-19 era, 
we need to coordinate and collaborate to safeguard our operation for the remainder of 2020 and forward into 2021. This webinar today has brought us to, together to discuss what our future will look like. But first, I wish to provide some background on what we do at ADAPS and our role in the UAE's logistics and business sectors. Abu Dhabi Airport Free Zone, or ADAPS, is one of the fastest growing free zone in the region and was founded in 2012. Serving as a strategic hub and the gateway to Arabia, ADAPS offers the full spectrum of premium free zone services. We offer facilities and infrastructure at Abu Dhabi International Airport, Al Batin Executive Airport, and Al Ain International Airport, providing a diverse suite of be benefits to customers, including the provision of 100% ownership, a tax free environment, 0% import or re export duties, no restrictions on capital repatriation, no currency restrictions, a full range of services, including company registration, dual licensing, leasing, and rapid visa processing for employees. Our reasons have a strategic focus on welcoming companies from around the globe in sector including aviation and aerospace, technology, e-commerce, logistics, and much, much more. We offer a range of distinct and extensive benefits to businesses and customers who choose us as their partner. We are in a strategic location, offering connectivity to a wider range of global destination, alongside acting as a gateway to Abu Dhabi in key location in the UAE. We provide an integrated multimodal transport hub, enabling company to swiftly transit cargo from air to land, and as we are the only free zone or the only free zone in Abu Dhabi to offer land side and air side access. This is particularly convenient for logistic companies to be able to move goods from the aircraft hold to the cargo track. Finally, we also ensure that setting up a company in Abu Dhabi is as simple as possible, enabling business owners to swiftly begin operation in their region. By doing so, we help attract new companies to Abu Dhabi and enhance our Emirates International business standing. We recently actually, we recently welcomed two other major international companies, Samsa Express, who have established a 1,000 square meter warehouse for their regionally leading express transportation business. And Honeywell, who have established a personal protective equipment manufacturing facility in ADAF's Al Ain International Airport Free Zone. Now to conclude, on an even stronger note, I am proud to be able to say that we saw a 109% increase in the number of companies registering with us in the first half of 2020 as compared to 2019. Such growth during the pandemic is only enabled through collaboration with a wide range of entities. In this spirit of collaboration, I welcome this opportunity to address you today and look forward to discussing the future of our sector. Thank you very much. Thank you, Khalil, for sharing the great advantages that comes from Abu Dhabi Airport Free Zone. And moving to our next speaker, please join me in welcoming Youssef Ahmed Basli, Executive Director of Strategy and Corporate Development, Masdar, to tell us about the role of free zones in supporting and attracting businesses post COVID-19. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the opportunity to participate in today's webinar. Alongside with my peers at ADGM, Kizad, Abu Dhabi Airport, Free Zone, and 2454, as discussed, how Free Zone are supporting the growth of the companies in Abu Dhabi. The past six, three, six months has shown that no sector of the economy has been immune to the effect of COVID 19 in the UAE or internationally. So the topic of today's conversation is particularly relevant as countries around the world try to stimulate their economy to overcome the challenges of COVID-19. Revitalizing the economy requires strong government support, which already we are uh, noticing from uh, our government and leadership from the private sector to combat the effect of the pandemic. This is where Free Zone can 
cluster the country economy because catalyzing economy growth is why we exist. Realizing commercial growth is an important to Mazdar City as advancing social and environmental development. When the crisis began in March this year, Mazdar City immediately embarked on a major adaptation exercise, protecting our staff, those who, of our tenant and our resident was the number one priority. And thanks to the prompt action, we have been able to start returning to the normal office working condition. Mazar City is proud to have support the country response to the pandemic by providing a base technology leaders, Group 42, which set up one of the largest COVID-19 testing response facility in the world at Mazar City during the lockdown period. Mazdar City Eurozone has met the challenges posed by COVID-19 with a coordinated approach that has resulted in unprecedented growth in the free zone, where we have welcomed over 150 new companies, business in this year, despite the widespread disruption caused by the pandemic. I believe there are three main reasons of this. Firstly, like many organizations, we have benefited from the swift and decisive ac action of our government. In May, the Abu Dhabi holding company, ADQ, launched the 1.1 billion dirham Alpha Wave incubation fund to encourage tech startups for, from India and Southeast Asia to establish their regional and hopefully their global operation in the Emirates. And just last month, ADQ partnered with Abu Dhabi Investment Office to attract further funding for local digital startup. The second reason is because, is because of our offering at Mazdar City. Mazdar City Free Zone is a powerful business enabler and strategic base from which business can build their network locally and globally, explore multiple investment opportunities and test new technologies. More than 860 companies now call Mazdar City home and we provide support at each of the three stages of the startup cycle, namely incubation through our tenants such as Crypto Labs, acceleration through our own joint venture fund with British Petroleum called Catalyst, and expansion through the initiatives such as Alpha Fund and benefit of the sustainable ecosystem we have created at Mazar City. In March 2019, Mazdar City also launched a tech park, a destination for startups focused on technology, sustainability, and digital economy. And since then, we have more than 11 companies well established in uh, Mazdar City as startup. We aim to provide business with all those the tools and support that they need to thrive. Today, the ecosystem includes Honeywell, Siemens Energy, and other multi companies research institutions such as Mohammed bin Zayed University of Artificial Intelligence and government entities like the UAE Space Agency, Emirates Nuclear Energy, and the first International Renewable Energy Agency, part of the United Nations. The third and arguably the most important reason why Free Zone has continued the growth over the past nine months is because Mazar City offer all business the opportunity to be part of building one of the most sustainable urban community in the world. According to the United Nations, environment program building and their construction together account for 36% of global energy use and 39% of energy related carbon emission. Mazdar City tackle, tackling this challenge head on by creating a living template for sustainable urban growth where each new building attempts to push the envelope for sustainable design and where the latest clean technology being tested on site. Therefore, we are looking for the latest technologies to grow within Mazdar and Alive. In support of this belief, we have identified potential annual energy saving of around 50,000 megawatt hour for our clients, resulting in OPEX saving of more than 10 million dirham a year. Looking toward future, I think this is differentiation will become even more important to the success of Mother City because if COVID-19 has taught us anything, it's, it's that 
our economy growth must be sustainable. And I will encourage that all the free zones in Abu Dhabi to, to complement each other in a way that we can compete for the benefit of Abu Dhabi. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity, and I would like to thank Abu Dhabi Investment Office again for this webinar, and I will be ready to answer any of your question, or if you, have, if you need any insight about Mazdar, please you can reach me or my team in Mazdar Free Zone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Yusuf, for such an insightful presentation about Mazdar and its opportunities. Last but not least, please join me in welcoming Michael Gavin, CEO of 2454 and Image Nation Abu Dhabi, to know more about the pioneering Abu Dhabi's entertainment industry. Thanks, Samir, and hello, everyone. As uh, Abu Dhabi is in the midst of a transition from a resource-based economy to a knowledge-based economy, uh, 2454 and Image Nation play a critical role in facilitating that. We um, not only provide um, jobs at the highest level, but more importantly, uh, principally, our focus is to make sure that they exist within the private sector. Too often governments in our region talk about entrepreneurship, but then they end up competing with entrepreneurs and often crowding them out of the ecosystem. We're exactly the opposite. We are currently in the process of privatizing businesses that have heretofore been part of 2454 because there was no viable uh, attraction for uh, the private sector to establish them. But now that we have a robust pipeline pipeline of, of, of production, both film and television, and uh, and soon to come in gaming and d digital arenas, uh, we now are in a position of being able to uh, privatize businesses that all over the world uh, already exist in the, in the private sector. Uh, this is critically important to uh, people and, in, uh, and companies who are focused on this sector because the um, pipeline virtually guarantees uh, the opportunity to work as uh, freelancers. We have over 6,000 of them already registered within 2454. And the companies that uh, uh, support the production and, the, and other uh, services in the marketing and entertainment uh, sector. The um, newest feature that uh, is, uh, really d differentiates Abu Dhabi and, uh, and, and the free zone from everywhere else in the region is the recent announcement of uh, Unity uh, joining uh, uh, Abu Dhabi, establishing their uh, corporate headquarters for both the Middle East and all of Africa here in Abu Dhabi. Um, for those of you who don't understand the importance of unity, which I confess includes me uh, six months ago, uh, our phones are uh, powered by uh, either um, uh, by OS or by Android. But uh, in, in the field of, uh, of games and uh, virtual reality and many other applications, there's only one uh, Unity. And so their being here uh, means that there is no other um, alternative anywhere else in the region. And this will, uh, their certification uh, guarantees uh, the proficiency that uh, professionals and accreditation that professionals need um, to demonstrate uh, that their their capabilities and therefore uh, will lead to the highest uh, level jobs at the top of the food chain. And uh, for the first time, we'll be able to support people at uh, income levels equal to or greater than uh, their government uh, employed colleagues. And, uh, and, and this is critically important because what it means is that we no longer will be reliant on government to uh, subsidize businesses, but not only will the private uh, sector provide uh, jobs and, um, and, and technology,
but also bring the capital to, to fund them as, as well. Um, we have a robust pipeline of, of, of production. Other than Iceland, we are the only jurisdiction in the world that managed to maintain production throughout um, this COVID pandemic. Over $100 million of film and television production uh, continued uninterrupted, and this has not gone unnoticed uh, in the production community around the world. And we soon will be announcing um, the arrival of a major Hollywood production uh, that will begin uh, uh, th this year and um, many others uh, to, f to follow. Uh, th this is critically important because when companies are considering where to locate, uh, because most of them are serving uh, the industry, they need to know this pipeline exists because otherwise what's the point of, of, of being here? So um, we provide uh, 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 an ecosystem that is user friendly. It is dedicated to the success of the companies that um, uh, serve our industry, and uh, and their success is our success. And consequently, uh, people see us as their their partner, their ally, their supporter, rather than their competitor. And um, I think, as you've heard from uh, all uh, my colleagues who preceded me. This is a consistent theme of, of Abu Dhabi, of the other free zones, and um, is, is one of the most compelling reasons to, uh, to, to locate here. Um, we also are, are very um, uh, frank and honest about our challenges. So, you know, this is not a perfect world, uh, and, but we, because we recognize that, we're, we're addressing it. And the biggest challenge we face is uh, the high price of uh, connecting, conductivity, connecting to the internet. Abu Dhabi right now is about six times as expensive as uh, Singapore to gain this access. And, um, and because we recognize it, with the Abu Dhabi Investment Office and, uh, and other sector, private sector um, uh, companies already based in Abu Dhabi, this is a, uh, a problem that we're addressing. Um, but as I've always believed, problem identification is 90% of uh, problem solution. And so we're not shy about recognizing what we need, and um, we're focusing on that. The other uh, deficiency we currently have that um, which we're focused is the studio facilities which uh, when uh, they finally uh, are built, uh, will allow us to um, maintain production for 12 months a year. Because obviously with the, our weather, it's very hard to produce in the, in the warmest months uh, of the year. So not only do we have an environment that is ready for today, but we're addressing the, the challenges that uh, will um, uh, allow us to continue to be uh, leaders tomorrow. And um, I would say that we are already the creative hub of uh, the Irish speaking world, uh, as evidenced by our, our two Academy Awards, by our 12 uh, Emmy Awards, by our uh, BAFTA Awards. And um, this is only the beginning. So I'm very um, excited to be here today and very confident that our best time is uh, ahead of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Michael, for telling us all about 2454 and Image Nation and the critical role it plays in the industry. Moving to the second part of our webinar today with a panel discussion to find out more about the business opportunities within each free zone and why Abu Dhabi should be your next investment destination. Just a reminder for everyone, you can add your questions in the chat box and uh, we will address them at the end of the panel. Please allow me to introduce our panelists for today. Martin Tedestorm, Director of Business Development, the Registration Authority, Abu Dhabi Global Market. Khalid Al-Merzoogi, 
Director Commercial KZ Asma Al Mansour Marketing Manager Abu Dhabi Airports Free Zone Muhammad Al Fardan Director Masdar City Free Zone Kat Anderson Director Commercial Services 2454 Thank you all uh, for joining us here today and for your time um, allow me to start with um, you Martin um, Abu Dhabi Global Market was launched in 2015 as Abu Dhabi's International Financial Center and it has been a very successful very successful with several thousands companies opening and awarded mina financial center of the year four times in a row what is behind the success well thank you very much and hello everyone great to see you again well i think there are three keys really behind our success and, and why we are attracted to the market it is our location abu dhabi it is the partnerships we have because this is obviously not something we can do alone and it is our ability as a platform to meet needs of the many types of activities we want to support many of the ceos we just heard have underscored the importance of abu dhabi commercially and financially and i don't think i need to go into that point very much more than just to remind our listeners that abu dhabi is among the wealthiest uh, locations in the world with immense levels of capital held by the sovereign and by private sector. It's also a hub for many different industries. Uh, and I think by the merit of us being in Abu Dhabi, we give access to a very interesting domestic market and to opportunities around us. We have the benefit of many strong partnerships with the sovereign free zone or sovereign wealth funds here, with the big industry drivers like Adnok Tawasan, Department of Health, the DD, with regulators and courts around the world, and with the private sector. Uh, we have a very strong ecosystem that makes Abu Dhabi and ADGM a good commercial environment to plug into. We have banks. We have investors, both private sector uh, funds, family offices, strong group of commercial advisors and many corporate partners. The last component of this, I think, is our ability as a platform to meet needs. Uh, our CEO, Dara, mentioned a few of them already, and I think at the core of this is that we are an international legal environment. We apply English common law, which is known and trusted and understood by businesses all around the world, making, de-risking uh, a lot of the activities. We have strong regulators. We have strong courts with uh, agreements on enforcement with the local judiciary. We are broad-based. We allow several hundred different commercial activities. And through the common law, laws and regulations we have in place, we allow a lot of flexibility to structure business, to ring fence risk and protect assets in ways that investors and businesses all around the world are, are comfortable with. We are supportive, we help companies get up and running, um, and I think the last component is that we are innovative. We're still a young organization, we launched five years ago. We have to move fast in order to understand what the needs are, to meet them in a big way. And I'm proud to say that we've been able to launch a number of firsts in this part of the world. First FinTech regimes, a very good tech platform. The first foundations for multi-generational management of family wealth. First aircraft finance deals, the first VC fund manager regime, first private REITs, to mention a few examples. And we have the world's first digital courts making access to justice cheaper, quicker, and easier. Thank you. That's great. Well, Beyond yet great achievements in such a short time, which is amazing. Um, I'd like to move to Khaled. Um, Khaled, apart from the obvious advantages um, of free zones, such as, for example, the tax incentives, for example, what are the products and services available 
to KZ Free Zone customers. First, uh, I would like to thank, uh, of course, Adio for this great sessions. Uh, at Keyzat, we follow very a uh, custom-focused approach. We observe the trends of the market very closely, listen to our customer, understand the requirement. Then we build our products and solutions based on these requirements. For example, last year we have decided to lower the cost of the setup operations and made 75 percent of our services free of charge. One of the major advantages that Keyzat play a role now is to offer the connectivity to the global markets. We are, as you know, as uh, my CEO has highlighted that we are close to, we are actually adjacent to the world's most advanced deep water seaport, which is Khalifa port. We are also just one hour uh, driving distance to another major seaport, which is the Jabal Ali seaport. So by offering pre-built units within the free zone area that we have in Kizat, both the international and the local companies can get benefit from import and export free duty custom. And those pre-built facility can be used for light manufacturing, not only for trading. Uh, in the company setup side, for example, discuss, talking about the service side, Kizat offers the possi possibility for the company setup within 24 hours. We have seen how this is important nowadays in the business world. The steam aligned registrations and the licensing processing is supported by dedicated teams of experts who can have a fast track even for issuing visa for our customer. Currently, if we're speaking about the SME, we are actually offering uh, a setup that is actually under a 10,000 uh, dirham per year. We always keep engaging with our customers, whether before establishment, after establishment, in order to support them, whether it is a market needs or even its administration needs. Thank you. Thank you, Khaled. That's definitely the, the flexibility is, is a, a great advantage that we would need in, in most free zones. Um, I'd like to move to Asma. Asma, can you tell us about Abu Dhabi Airport uh, Free Zone and its districts and locations, and what makes it competitive in the market? Well, thank you. But before answering your question, let me say good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to my colleagues at the panel today and good afternoon to our investors in the region and overseas. Um, basically, before taking you through our background and history, let me tell you what sets ADAPS apart and makes it competitive in the market is that we are the only free zone in Abu Dhabi that provides airside access in addition to the landside access enabling our investors to easily move goods uh, from aircraft hold to cargo trucks. We do also provide a unique one-stop shop for businesses looking to um, establish a foothold in the Middle East and to uh, ensure that uh, making a business in Abu Dhabi is as simple as possible, enabling business owners to uh, swiftly begin operations in the region. Now, what's the story of ADAPS is uh, we, ADAPS basically was founded in 2012 and was initiated as a subsidiary of Abu Dhabi Airport's company. Uh, basically, we uh, do um, uh, develop, manage, and operate airport free zones within uh, comprehensive business solutions and unique environment. Today, we do uh, manage a property portfolio for more than 300 free zone companies uh, from 40 different countries originating from both uh, Europe and Middle East. Uh, so let me shed light more on our um, locations and districts. Uh, basically, we do manage our operations through uh, three main airports, Abu Dhabi International Airport, Alain International Airport, and Al Batin Executive Airport with a property portfolio of over 88 square kilometer. And if we took a closer look at our districts and locations and the gross land space in each district, we'll find that uh, it compromises of around uh, 2 million square meter in Al Batin, around 31 million square meter in Abu Dhabi, and the largest falls within Alain, which is 54 million square meter. Um, I'd like you to touch briefly on our commercial districts located specifically in Abu Dhabi. We do manage five different commercial districts. Uh, 
namely Business Park, Logistic Park, Destination Village, Al Falah District, and East Midfield. And if we took a closer look at the constructed area and leased property in these commercial districts, we'll find that the occupancy rate is not less than 85%. And this leads me to say that uh, ADAF's uh, competitive pillars and um, um, a value proposition uh, has set us uh, apart in the market and makes us uh, pioneers. Um, we do provide um, a great connectivity to a global uh, uh, destinations, uh, providing close proximity to uh, key locations and uh, specific landmarks within the UAE, like Dubai, Al Ain, Khalifa Port, as well as um, Adnec. Uh, now, we do uh, act as a main gateway uh, to Abu Dhabi. We do offer dual uh, licensing for our investors. We are a tax-free environment as well as a VAT designated zone. Thank you. That's great. Thank you very much, Asma. Um, I'm moving to uh, Mohammed. Mohammed, what are the unique aspects of Masdar City Free Zone and what are the business um, offerings being offered? Thank you and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here with you guys. Uh, what makes Mazda City Free Zone uh, different or unique uh, is basically the quality of uh, services and offers uh, and competitive packages that we provide to our uh, tenants, whether they are small, uh, medium enterprises, or even large multinational corporations. Uh, we provide uh, comprehensive services uh, fully online uh, through our uh, one-stop shop uh, portal uh, where cli our clients can uh, submit their uh, request and process it uh, from uh, the comfort of their, from their own homes, uh, whether it is uh, licensing, uh, registration, or uh, government visa services, all type of services they can do it online. Uh, also, what makes us different is uh, we provide a different type of office sizes. Uh, start from uh, flexi desk to uh, small, medium, and uh, large office uh, sizes uh, located in uh, uh, largest uh, lead uh, certified buildings within Mazda City. Uh, also, we have our uh, R&D cluster, uh, which is uh, the only R&D cluster in Abu Dhabi. Uh, that provide uh, the support for our uh, tenants and clients to develop their uh, businesses. Uh, another uh, unique uh, point, uh, selling point is uh, we provide also land uh, for different uses. Uh, we provide uh, uh, land for uh, light industry, uh, for commercial and residential uses. Uh, also, the location of the city is, is unique. Uh, uh, it's uh, to provide access to our tenants to uh, uh, inside Abu Dhabi uh, and uh, Dubai, the rest of UAE. It's just five minutes away from Abu Dhabi International Airport, uh, 20 minutes from Abu Dhabi City, 40 minutes from Dubai. Uh, also provide access to them uh, through the region. Uh, also, uh, we have Mohammed bin Zayed University for uh, uh, Artificial Intelligence, uh, which gives uh, great access for our clients to the research facilities and the faculty to, to uh, uh, develop their uh, business. Uh, today, we have more than 860 companies uh, from all over the world. They're taking advantage of uh, many incentives the city provides, uh, as well as the other uh, free zone incentives. Uh, and we continue to, to provide and enhance our services from time to time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed. It's really great to see how every free zone has really its unique um, aspects and in and, and, and what it offers. Um, moving to 2454 and Kat, um, what markets are you focusing on at 2454? Um, Samir, I think um, as media and entertainment industry, there's not particular markets. We're a global industry. And I think for that, we don't see boundaries of geographies. We look at the verticals of the industry. So I think it's actually, um, you know, globally, the world is in a tough time at the moment. Yet in the media and entertainment industry, we've seen areas of extreme growth. 
a lot of people are cocooning at home. So things like um, gaming, film and TV streaming platforms, digital channels, including e-commerce, they are all going through huge booms at the moment because content consumption is actually key. So the content itself comes in many forms, but it's how do you consume your entertainment experience? And they're the categories we focus on at 2454. We have a strong regulatory inf uh, infrastructure with our licensing team through the Media Zone Authority. We are fluid and flexible with how we react. As Michael mentioned, we have a deal, a strategic partnership with Unity. And as part of that focus on the gaming industry, we've added another 40 plus gaming categories to the licensing scheme run by the Media Zone Authority. So we work in partnership with our licensing and regulator regulatory authority, and we work with our partners on campus. We are very strong with our business partnering. So we speak to our partners, seek their feedback on their challenges, their opportunities, and what they need from us. And we work with them to drive the industry forward. As Michael said, we're champions of the private sector and we're actually working very hard to grow the industry for Abu Dhabi's economic benefit. That's amazing. Thank you very much, Kat. Um, going back to you, Martin, um, how is Abu Dhabi global market complementing the value of other free zones? Thank you. Well, it's been really interesting to hear about the depth of support uh, and opportunity provided for different industries by my colleagues here. They're different free zones. We do that for financial services, but I think by merit of being an international legal environment, we also enhance um, the value of all the other free zones, uh, all the other industries. If we take an example of a company who wants to do business here in Abu Dhabi, in really any industry, they can use the combination of the right free zone for their core income generating activities and ADGM for some of the corporate functions. For example, um, a company who places a headquarter in ADGM can contract and serve its customers from an international legal environment often adding credibility to the contracting and perhaps finding it easier uh, to strike new deals. They can hold and operate uh, operations, uh, free zone, uh, warehouses, etc., in other free zones. They, if they need to have onshore operations in those activities where the free zones aren't appropriate, they can structure the joint venture in ADGM and in doing so getting better protection, for example, uh, in case of insolvency on behalf of the local partner than the local laws would allow them. Uh, we have excellent structures to hold assets, to finance them, to ring fence risk. And we can see under the thousands of special purpose vehicles set up in ADGM, there are real estate portfolios, ships, aircraft, uh, shares, obviously, financial assets, art collections, etc., etc. We see many companies who coordinate their regional and even international operations from ADGM. And by being in ADGM, near banks, near providers of finance, near advisors, they can effectively run a whole range of corporate and financial activities, such as funding of various activities, such as providing finance to their customers and operating global or regional treasury centers, for example. So by looking at the combination of the right free zone, whether you're in defense, whether you're in manufacturing, logistics, etc., and ADGM, I think uh, together we can offer international investors a more appropriate and safer environment to do their business. Thanks. That is amazing. Thank you so much, uh, Martin. Uh, next question to Khaled. Back to you, Khaled. COVID-19 has been a challenge for everyone, but KZAT seems to have signed um, companies during this period as well. Can you please elaborate uh, on what are the steps KZAT has um, taken to help customers during this challenging time? And how have you been able to attract foreign investment uh, through this period? Okay, uh, first of all, it is true that the uh, pandemic has uh, change the way we do business and there were challenges and those challenges still exist. 
Uh, but fortunately, uh, we had a robust uh, business continuity plan, both in Abu Dhabi port levels and as well as Kizat levels. And this has helped us to maintain the constant connections with our customers and also for our future prospects. Uh, at the very start of the pandemic, for example, for everyone's safety, we decided to submit all documents via email and on online platforms. All the meetings were online, um, all the channels of communication were open at that time. Now, what we have seen that the customer service and the company formations process have ne never been easier, actually, since the pandemic because using those online software. And these things have been really appreciated by all investors. Uh, there were also a number of incentives, as you know, that during the period that Abu Dhabi Executive Council announced and we are passed on the new and also to the existing customers. We have been able, uh, luckily, to maintain a flow of FDI into Abu Dhabi by continuing engaging, as I mentioned, with our uh, key market uh, through digital and online means. We have extend, uh, extensive calendar of webinars planned since the beginning of the band uh, pandemic. And we regularly hold webinars and one-to-one -one meetings with our customer and prospects and their customer and their markets, in their markets and also in their times. Also, we we look at their time zone. Uh, we also sp uh, try to speak their language, uh, just translating all our materials in their language. So we just try to keep the dialogue going with those uh, uh, potential investors and keep informing them of the benefit of setting up in Abu Dhabi and in Kizad. Collaborations with the government of entities like, for example, ADIO, for example, this webinar today, also uh, supported actually of keep sending out a positive message about Abu Dhabi, of like Abu Dhabi of being open for uh, business. And as we have seen actually in the last month, uh, businesses have response. Thank you. That was great. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Khaled. Uh, my next question would be to Asma. Um, what does Abu Dhabi Airport Free Zone offer in terms of products and services? And what's, what are your targeted segments? Thank you, Samir. Uh, well, um, in terms of products and services at ADAPS, we do offer a variety of uh, products and services ranging from uh, real estate products to free zone facilities. But uh, during today's webinar and the panel specifically, let me focus and highlight on the, um, the tailor-made uh, solutions for our investors. So basically, we do offer uh, warehouses with uh, different operating models and um, airside access, enabling our investors to practice their import and export uh, business operations easily. So each cluster compromises of 2,880 square meter and divided into eight individual light industrial units so that spreads over 360 square meter. We do offer as well uh, aircraft hangars at Al Badin Airport available for short term and long term leases. We do offer our plots of land um, that varies in uh, land space uh, starting from 5,000 square meter to 8.3 uh, square kilometer and uh, supported by built to suit options for specific target segments. Uh, finally, yet importantly, we do have our furnished offices and commercial offices available uh, for professionals, uh, for, um, uh, for startups, starting from 50 square meter and fully supported by services and facilities. Now, all of these mentioned offerings are supported by the concept of one-stop shop. Um, our clients' gateway to seamless process, which enables them to conduct the required service wherever they are located, whether in the region or overseas. Now, some of these services are um, uh, registration services, uh, licensing and leasing, as well as employment and sponsorship and much more. Now, uh, coming to the second part of your question, which is uh, who are we talking to or who are we targeting in terms of segments? Um, at ADAS, we do welcome investors uh, from multinationals, from uh, SMEs, uh, startups, from different sectors, but mainly focused on aviation, logistics, and e-commerce, and followed by ICT, 
um, uh, trading, uh, management consultancy, F&B, um, and much more. Now, here I'd like to stress that a lot of um, multinational firms uh, have uh, selected ADAPS to be their home and to establish their business within our premises. And um, recently we have signed long-term agreements with multinationals such as uh, SAMSA Express, uh, the leading express transportation and logistic provider uh, of Saudi Arabia, who has established its first hub uh, within our 1,000 square meter warehouse in Abu Dhabi, uh, aiming to practice their air and uh, land cargo shipments. Another agreement that was accomplished by the support of one of our strategic partner, which is Nebras uh, Alain Aerospace, uh, who has supported and bringing in a new anchor client, which is Honeywell, the international industrial uh, solution provider who has established its, uh, its uh, facility manufacturing for personal prote uh, protective uh, equipment. And, um, uh, trying to support the UAE healthcare with uh, equipment and supplies during COVID outbreak. Now, finally, and yet importantly, our agreement with DHL Express to uh, aim to develop the uh, Express uh, hub uh, within our East Midfield District with 30,000 square meter. And uh, this initiative specifically aiming to showcase Abu Dhabi as a regional center for uh, rapid package transit in the e-commerce sector. Now, all of these mentioned agreements and much more, which I don't have the luxury of time to cover during today's discussion, have somehow supported in our registration increase by 109% this year compared to last year, the same period, which is another milestone that have been added to um, ADAPS portfolio, not only for ADAPS, but also for the economic uh, outstanding in Abu Dhabi and in the region in general. Thank you. It's great. Thank you so much, Asma, for the a great range of products and services and um, sharing your targeted segments as well. Um, next, um, my question is to Mohammed. What are the current focused uh, markets, markets for Masdar City Free Zone? Thank you. This is a good question. Uh, at the moment, we are focusing uh, in different markets, so whether it's local market in UAE or international markets uh, in South Asia, Middle East, uh, Europe, uh, and emerging markets like China, uh, Russia, India. Uh, early this year, uh, we've run a, a successful uh, marketing uh, advertising campaign uh, to promote our 100% uh, virtual uh, online services. And it was, the result of that was great, uh, you know, uh, by the increase of number of uh, new clients. Uh, also, we conduct uh, digital marketing campaigns uh, to target uh, different markets. Uh, and it's proven to be a successful uh, tool, especially during uh, COVID-19. Uh, uh, so our aim is basically uh, to seek uh, to any market that, you know, there, there's a potential of bringing more uh, businesses to, to Mazda City and to Abu Dhabi uh, in particular. Uh, also, we, we keep uh, updating our services and packages to uh, meet uh, different uh, customer uh, uh, business needs, uh, especially during uh, a COVID pandemic. Uh, Alhamdulillah, this is why we have uh, uh, witnessed uh, an increase in number of tenants and the growth. Uh, month after month, despite of the current situation. Uh, and our aim is to keep, uh, you know, uh, uh, enhancing uh, our services, adding more values to our tenants, uh, uh, to, keep, uh, to keep our growth uh, steady and uh, to help in, in building uh, our uh, mother city. Uh, and we are aiming to, to, to keep what we are doing and uh, to, to target uh, uh, more markets worldwide. That's great. Thank you very much, Mohammed. Um, going back to 454, um, Kat, what are the business offerings or projects being offered at 2454? 
Thank you, Samir. Um, for 2454, we have over 600 companies based at 2454 and we are media specialists. Each of my colleagues sitting here on the panel are specialists in their particular industry and we know how to work with our partners. So we have particular facilities and services that they require, such as studios, post-production facilities and a 300,000 square metre backlot for people to produce on, a 30% cashback rebate. We deliver networking events and we have a connect briefing room that brings work to their door. We have a freelancer community so they can come in and set up really quickly with limited costs um, in that setup because we have a talent pool here ready to support them with local knowledge, which is really important. Um, this year, we've seen unprecedented growth in the number of companies who are actually registering with us. I think we're up 101% on last year um, already, and it's just coming into October. And I think we're a successful proof of concept. We've been around for 12 years. And um, we're about to move to an incredible campus on Yas Island. So our 600 plus companies, our 6,000 plus employees will be moving to a new media campus on Yas Island where we'll all be together, um, which will be an amazing state of the art um, facility and amenity built for the media and entertainment industry. So if you're ever on Yas Island, fly through under the tunnel, look to the left hand side near the beautiful Etihad Bronze Arena and we are right next door. And this will be the home of media and entertainment for Abu Dhabi moving forward. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thanks, everyone. Well, you know, we can go on and on and on and on with the questions. Um, but now let's hear from our audience. Um, I'd like to open the floor for the Q&A session. And we'll start taking the questions. So the first question that I have is, um, will this session be recorded and shared later with the participants? Um, this session is being recorded and it will be available on um, Abu Dhabi Investment Office social media channels after the event. And the second question is also related to the same. Um, can you please publish a copy of the presentation? Um, yes, so um, the presentation as well, um, along with the session that's recorded, will be available on the um, Abu Dhabi Investment Office social media channels. And then I have the third question. And I'd, I'd leave this to um, all the panelists who would like to answer this question. Um, why should an investor choose a free zone over the Abu Dhabi mainland? And what are the benefits? <laughs> or maybe everyone can give me a quick, a, a very quick, um, uh, starting from Martin, a very Quick answer from your um, your opinion. Well, I, th I think the opportunities are certainly boundaryless. The reason for choosing a free zone would be that you might find regulatory system services and ecosystem that are specifically targeted to your activities, and that might be a more supportive environment to base yourself in. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Anyone wants to add anything to that? Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, okay. Uh, Besides, yeah. yes, me. Uh, yes, who would, is it Khaled? Yeah, I think everyone wants to answer those questions because everyone has. Yeah, let's do it. Why, why? Yeah. Yes, that's from, right. From, let's, uh, let's go to Khaled. Yeah, from uh, Kizad sides, uh, what we witness from the customers because. Now, Abu Dhabi doesn't position itself only to be, for example, for the GCC and the surrounding region. Abu Dhabi and UAE is considered today as one of the preferred, actually, destinations for uh, creating a business hub, logistic hub, and industrial hub. So why choosing the free zones? Because some of the customer, their main customer, actually are outside of the GC, I would say the GCC and the Middle East region. So either they heavily import or they heavily export. So maybe if, for example, if they are, less, let's say like 70, 80%, they are dependent on import or re-export. So it makes more sense to be, for them to be within custom bounded area 
because this is will make it easy for them actually to facilitate how the flow of the business and also the documentation process will be easier, faster, and cheaper for them. So this is actually in my point of view. That's great. Thank you so much, um, Asma. Thank you, Samir. Uh, basically, uh, the investors um, would enjoy a, a, a wide range of benefits um, once they choose to uh, invest and establish their business in a free zone environment. So basically, uh, there will be a provision of 100% ownership, 0% uh, of import and export uh, fees and duties, as well as um, they, there will not be any restriction on uh, capital repatriation, as well as no currency restrictions. And they will definitely enjoy 100% uh, uh, foreign company ownership, uh, plus the wide range of services that is provided uh, basically by a free zone environment, which is uh, specifically uh, mentioning our free zone, uh, including the registration, uh, licensing, uh, leasing, uh, property management, and rapid uh, uh, visa processing uh, for employees as well as sponsorship. Thank you. Thank you very much, Asma. Any uh, thoughts, Mohammed? Yes, from Mazdaq free zone perspective, uh, besides providing the other you know, free zone incentives like the 100% for an ownership and the easy uh, movement of capitals and exemptions of the income taxes, what we provide is the support for our clients from inception to operation. Uh, we just don't uh, bring the clients and then leave them to run their uh, operations without any support. Uh, and a great example of that is during the pandemic. Uh, we provided easy payment plans. We provided uh, deferral of payments. Uh, we even uh, uh, allowed our clients to downsize uh, their, some of their uh, offices. So it's the support that the client needs uh, to, to make his, uh, his uh, business uh, sustain and successful. And I believe that most of the free zones in Abu Dhabi, they provide this. That's great. Um, Kat, I actually have a question that is for um, 2454. And uh, <laughs> the question is, does 2454 allow freelancers to work with international clients on their license? Um, so, Samir, I just want to say, firstly, um, on the free zone um, versus onshore license, um, the beauty of being in a free zone is you don't have to choose either or. With the dual licensing system that the Abu Dhabi government has, has um, offered with the Department of Economic Development, you can have your free zone license, and then which gives you all the benefits that all of my colleagues have mentioned, but then you can get an onshore license as well through the Department of Economic Development. And the fees for both have been waived for the first two years of incorporation. And I think this is really important to show the Abu Dhabi government is really trying to support um, foreign direct investment coming to Abu Dhabi. So if you set up in a free zone, you can actually get both. You get the benefits of being in a free zone. It protects your assets and your company, but also you can operate onshore and get work onshore from all the key entities that work on Abu Dhabi, uh, in Abu Dhabi. Um, from a 2454 perspective, being a freelancer, yes, you can. It just depends on whether they're actually licensed um, within the free zone. So there are those parameters, and then we can actually work with the company to find an agreement or a structure that works for you. So if you'd like, just reach out to me, and I'll work with you directly, whoever it is. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Kat. And that was really insightful. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time. And we have reached to the end of the webinar. And I would like to personally thank all of our speakers for their time today. We have gained a great understanding about the business opportunities and the advantages that the free zone in Abu Dhabi can offer to foreign investors, all from the 100% ownership in companies registered within, um, uh, registered within them, uh, no corporate taxes, no import and export duties, reduced documentation and smoother recruitment and visa processes, for employees and many, many more. And this is why Abu Dhabi should be your next investment uh, destination. 
for all of the for all of you um, who have unanswered questions, you can get in touch with Abu Dhabi Investment Office and discuss any of the other topics mentioned today or discover the opportunities in Abu Dhabi. Please contact us via our website at investinabudhabi.gov.ae. Thank you all for joining us today. We hope that you all enjoyed the webinar and see you soon in our next Inside Abu Dhabi series webinar on the 28th of October. Have a great day and stay safe.